Okay, I know a lot of you guys are looking at this video and you're like, aren't these the exact same angles that I saw before? Yes, you're right. Uh, but there's going to be a lot more that's going to be happening in this video as I'll show you in this little sneak peek. But for now, let me just tell you about the focus. So when it comes to creating super affiliate level ad angles, one of the key things that you need to do is understand how you can merge angles together. That's going to be very, very important for you to create long, uh, you know, long lasting campaigns and for you to also create campaigns that are not directly competing against the next affiliate. Right. Because obviously, we, we, you know, we have several affiliates are going to be running angles that are just that or just that. But now you need to be smarter and see how you can merge, you know, maybe a simple angle with an anniversary angle or targets angle with a simple angle or holiday angle, potentially with a targeted angle. Um, and seeing how you can merge between two and three angles together um, to make a, a new angle and see how you can utilize that angle at different times during the year. So in this video, I'm going to show you an example of how you can do this with with New Zealand, uh, not for a specific product, but just to show you how you know what what can happen with a particular um, angle and how you can continuously generate more and more and more and more angles. All right, so. Here is an example of what I've generated. This took me probably a couple of minutes to do. Very, very easy, very, very simple. I've color coded it so you can see where the simple angles are. You know, for example, in this text, where the holiday angle is in this text, and where the clickbait angle is in this text, right? So everything's color coded so it should be very clear what, what's going on. So as you can see, the question is, did you know customers in New Zealand are getting big discounts this Christmas? click here and win, right? So I've merged three angles into one, one, one angle, right? So I've made one big angle. Now, that means that I have, uh, definitely have a better chance of increasing the, the CTR on this, this particular ad, um, because I'm merging a few things together. Um, and it also allows me to, to generate an endless supply of, 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 of ad angles because in the next campaign if I want to do something I can remove the simple angle and test out a target angle or I can remove the holiday angle and just run the simple angle plus clickbait angle and see how that looks which means that you you can continuously make angles at any time any day uh, during any year right now I'm showing you an example with with two with two angles, right? So we have the simple angle plus the holiday angle plus the clickbait angle. And then we have the targeted angle for the next the next angle and this plus the simple angle plus the holiday angle. All right? So the second angle that I created for this Christmas example was attention brand lovers. To celebrate Christmas, brand is giving away 100 gift cards only today so let's say you know i'm doing a mcdonald's or i don't know ikea let's say let's say it's just facebook so i'm doing a uh, a grocery off on this let's say it's uk tesco right so that could be attention tesco lovers to celebrate christmas tesco is giving away 100 gift cards only today click here to win now i don't know if it's just my voice but that sounds like a very powerful angle um, already um, but just bear in mind that you know even though I have two low risk parts of this angle right two low risk angles brought together because I now have also have the, the, the high risk angle that automatically makes this angle high risk right as long as that's been included that this angle is high risk just bear that in mind when you're running these angles um, but obviously also bear in mind the simple fact that we always say high risk high return low risk just go home pretty much because if you do low risk then you're not going to make much profit so you may as well just not launch anything right so you need to take some level of risk right this is cpa marketing so there has to be some level of risk taker inside you even the fact that you are listening to me right now there is that level of risk taker inside you so just unleash it unleash the dragon so um as you can see i'm going to remove these colors i'm just going to remove these colors just in case anyone's a little bit confused about what's going on, just so you can see it as a as a full sentence, right? So I remove the colours. So now you can see. Did you know customers in New Zealand are getting big discounts this Christmas? Click here and win. And then for the second one, 
Attention brand lovers, to celebrate Christmas, brand is giving away 100 gift cards only today. Click here to win. Now, that's already given me two angles, right? And it was just merging these three. I could easily just remove one of these and then slightly modify the, the, the add angle. And now I have a completely new angle. So I have three. I can remove one of these or something. And then I can have a, a completely different ad angle. And now I have four. So I now have four ad angles that I can test on one single offer or campaign. So when it comes to you not making profits or making an ROI uh, on a, a good ROI on a campaign, you now have a system where you can constantly test out different ad angles because this does make a difference. So it's very important that you listen very, very clearly. Now, this is a Christmas example, but it doesn't only so apply for just Christmas. As you can see here, there is also Halloween. And what did I change? I'm extremely lazy, so I did not change much. Um, all I did was for this one was I just changed the, the fact that it's no longer Christmas. It's now Halloween, right? So this Halloween instead of this Christmas, right? Everything else remains the same. So did you know customers in New Zealand are getting big discounts this Halloween? Click here and win, right? And again, I'm just going to remove this color coding so everyone can see it clearly. Very, very simple. Right, not saying that's a simple angle because there's only one part that's a simple angle, but it's very, very simple for you to create. Um, it's not rocket science, and you do not need to be um, a marketing guru just yet, right? Just yet. So, it's something that's that anyone can kind of generate, and it's quite a simple model for you to, to go by when it comes to your um, ad angle creations. And you can also start to build out a model for you when it comes to seeing, you know, when I have this combination, I see the highest ROI, or I have this combination, I see the, the lowest ROI. So, I'm going to primarily focus on building out campaigns with all these elements mixed in. Um, so, you kind of want to start building up that process because then you start to build up your pattern and your system because. At the end of the day, you're building up a business, so you need to understand the patterns that make your business successful so you can repeat and scale that business, all right? So again, I'll remove this color coding just so everyone can see it very clearly. And this 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 continues, this can keep going forever. So as you can see, I've, again, I've, all I've changed is the, the, the season, so Cyber Monday, and I've changed again, uh, Cyber Monday, so let me change that. Oops, that's not Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, very, very simple, very, very simple. It's not particularly difficult for you to implement. All I'm doing here um, is switching up this this, this, this holiday, right? Because the holiday is changing. Um, so now already I have six, six ad angles that have already been created, right? And you can, within these sort of particular seasons, you can make like, you know, dozens of these um, angles just from you switching up which combination you want to go for, right? And this is a good way to continuously make an endless supply of angles. And the same thing will apply for like Black Friday. So I can then put uh, um, I can see as you can see here. I can. Did you know customers in New Zealand are getting big disc discounts this Black Friday? Click here and win. Attention brand lover to celebrate this Black Friday. Celebrate Black Friday. Whoops. Actually, word I copy wrong. Celebrate Black Friday. Brand is giving away 100 gift cards only today, right? And the same thing can happen for New Year's. Did you know customers in New Zealand are getting big discounts this New Year's? Click here and win. Did you celebrate New Year's? Let's edit that. New Year's. Brand is giving away 100 gift cards only today. And the same thing with Valentine's, like this can continue to go on forever. I just, these are, these are just the first um, sort of holidays that I thought of um, before I made this video. Um, but it's more and more holidays, I'm sure. Um, if you check the sort of the, the holiday cal calendar slash the social, um, um, social holiday calendar as well which comes up with some of the more niche holidays. So you can continuously make you know this for different seasons of the year, different times of the year. And within these, you can have dozens of these because there's dozens of combinations that you can utilize, right? So very, very valuable, very, very important. Please obviously note that you don't run a Valentine's angle now, 
because nobody's thinking about Valentine's. You gotta still use your brain. Um, you know, you're not gonna run a Valentine's in September. You're gonna run a Valentine's campaign. You know, maybe mid Jan, um, and you can start running that for like a you know that particular angle for like four to six week period, right? But you know, before um, you know Valentine's and up to the Valentine's Day. Same thing with with something like Christmas. Christmas has a long, longer lead time, so you will see. You know, if you watch television, I don't, but if you watch TV, um, you you will probably see ads or you know in between the different shows or movies you're watching um, around Christmas, and that will start coming up. Um, you know, from like November, um, end of October. Obviously, October the focus is Halloween, but you still may see some snippets of Christmas because Christmas is such a big, big deal, and people spend so much time uh, planning for Christmas because it is a big expense for most families, right? So you just need to understand the sort of the timing and start to research the timing for when you should start launching campaigns focused on these specific holidays or whatever. But again, you don't even need to use a holiday angle if you didn't want to. But if you did include a holiday angle, make sure you time it right. But this essentially shows you how to continuously make the best quality ad angles and how to combine different ad angles to make one single ad angle.